check back with Ron Paul's campaign manager, Jesse Benton. I think we've got our audio problems worked <laughs> out. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thanks, Uma. Nice to be with you. Your candidate is uh, doing very well in South Carolina with recent polls showing that he is closing the gap between himself and Mitt Romney. What do you make of the polls? Well, we're surging in South Carolina. We've got the resources, we've got the grassroots, and most importantly, we've got the winning message. People in South Carolina are looking for a candidate that will really cut the spending, be serious about this debt that we've got exploding, and, uh, and really, really go to the White House to, to, to cut the spending and get this government under control. They know Dr. Paul's got the credibility, and Dr. Paul will do what he says. What about the fact that more young people are being drawn to this race? Absolutely. That's very, very important for us. Young people realize the mess that they're being left, and they, they, want, they want real change. They want their civil liberties back. They want a common sense pro-American foreign policy, and they want a government to be its proper size. You know, Dr. Paul's won about 50 percent of the vote under 30 in both Iowa and New Hampshire. Dr. Paul is bringing the young people out into the process, into the Republican Party, getting them engaged, and that's just critical. And we're counting on another great turnout from young people in South Carolina to push Dr. Paul up towards the top. So uh, are you really hoping for, I mean, I'm sure you are hoping for a big upset uh, next week, but if he comes out second again or third, is that going to be good enough for you? Absolutely. You know, we haven't campaigned hard in South Carolina. We've had to marshal our resources and we focused on Iowa and New Hampshire. We had great historic turnouts, great results in both of those states. Now we're rolling in hard in South Carolina and we're surging there. You know, we've moved up from single digits up into the teens. Some polls even have us at 20. We're, we're nipping at the heels of the big front runners that have spent so much more time, so much more money down there. We're going to surge. We're going to do very, very well. Most importantly, we're the only campaign with the, with the uh, campaign organization and resources downstream further in the caucus states throughout February, Super Tuesday caucuses and beyond to keep on going. So after we have a strong showing running with the other front run, running with the front runners, we're going to show that this is a two-man race between Ron Paul. So and you Mitt expect, Romney. even though um, the money is tight, that you're going to see more dollars flow in if you do come out second or third, even in this race, uh, because it is going to take money going forward and organization. It is going to take money. And, uh, you know, Dr. Paul has a wonderful network of donors across the country, hundreds of thousands of people that give 25, 50, 100 bucks at a time. The money's going to keep going because the people in this country want their liberty back. They want to see the spending cut. And uh, they, they want to get this government back under control. They want to save America before we lose all of our great traditions. All right, uh, Mr. Benton, great to see you here today. Thank you so much. Apologize for the audio Thank problems you. earlier. Wish you all the best. Thank you.